Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and install Fortnite onto the Mac Studio. So Fortnite is the popular online multiplayer shooter and today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and get that running on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac using the M1 Ultra chip. So basically we need to take our mouse cursor and then we need to go to Safari and then we need to open up the Epic Game Store. So this is the place where we can download the launcher which is necessary to run Fortnite. So on the top right hand side of the screen we're going to press the download button here. And then we're going to download something from the store.epicgames.com. We're going to press allow. Then we're going to go to finder. And then we're going to go to our downloads folder. And then we're going to double click on Epic Installer. And then what we'll do is drag the Epic Games Launcher into the Applications folder. So then we're going to go to Applications. And then we're going to go ahead and find the Epic Games Store here. And we're going to double click on this. Now we're going to press the Open button. Here we're going to press OK. I'm going to let Epic Games Launcher download some dependencies and get set up. So just be aware that when you're launching Fortnite, it's not going to be the latest season of Fortnite. That's because Epic have decided not to keep this version up to date. This is related to the Epic Apple lawsuit. However, you can still play the single player version and you can also play against other Mac users as well. So once we get to this login menu, we're going to go ahead and log in with our Epic Games account or any other accounts that you've used to register with Epic Games. You can also sign up here if you don't have an account already. Fortnite is completely free. I'm going to sign in with my Epic Games account. I'm just going to click on this and then enter my email address and password. So it's going to ask us for our security code just to confirm our email address. Just check your email to find this. So once we're logged in, we're going to go to the store and want to search for Fortnite. And then we're going to find the item here and we're going to select it. So if you haven't added this to your library yet, this is the chance to do it. We can go ahead and go to our library and then find Fortnite in a library here. And then we can select this one. And then it's going to ask us where we're going to install this. So today we're going to install this in its default location. I'm going to press install. And here we can see the percentage download. Right now it's at 0%. But basically it's a fairly large game. We need to wait until it gets to 100%. So now it's at 1%. It's going to take a bit of time for this to complete. This will all depend on the speed of your internet connection, so just be patient. So once Fortnite has finished downloading, we're going to go ahead and press the launch button here. Now the game is going to go ahead and launch for us. So here I've set the game to the 4K resolution and set the frame rate to unlimited and set everything to basically high. So here I've loaded up Fortnite and we're running at the 4K resolution and everything is set to high. You can see the frame rate here and it's we just loaded up. We are loaded up in creative mode, but you can see the frame rate on the top right hand corner of the screen. We are running at around 150 FPS. So if you look at on the top right hand corner of the screen, you'll see the frame rate counter here. And it's saying that we're about 150, 180 FPS. Anyway, that's how you go ahead and install Fortnite. We are not able to get the proper full Battle Royale experience on this at the moment. However, this is how you can get it running on the Mac Studio machine. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other tutorial videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.